Hi everybody, it's me, Jenny. Welcome back to my channel here at Craft Creations. Oh my goodness. I, I know I open every one of my videos with saying this, but I cannot help it. It is the truth. So we are back and I am here. <laughs> Barely, but I'm here and I'm here to show you the bag die that Anna created from my crafting world designs and oh my gosh guys like oh oh my gosh so let me just go over the die real quick um this die is actually you can use this all year round obviously it's a bag like you can decorate it any way you want but Anna was pretty smart because not only did she leave it with this great little detailing up here um but she's got specific ones that you can use for Easter. I don't know if you can tell, but this is, um, or these are bunnies right there. And then Valentine's Day, or really any day, you can use the hearts. And then stars you can use for the 4th of July, for Memorial Day, for... I mean, honestly, any day, but it's so cool that she has these. So basically you would cut them out. I'm telling you about this because I didn't see it and didn't realize it when I first did the unboxing and we saw these together um, because these were actually turned around in the package. So I thought they were just like border dies that you could put, which they are, but they have these really cool um, cut out so I just thought we should go over because I did not use them on my project today um, but I just want to make you guys aware that this this bag is so versatile like honestly the, uh, uh, like all of her dies <laughs> I, I know I sound like a broken record guys but her dies first of all the sizes are always perfect perfect on point the the design of it is just amazing. I mean, and you know, we're so blessed because Anna is a crafter herself and a beautiful crafter at that. Um, I have always said that. Um, so she knows what you, you need or what you would like to craft. And to me, that makes a world of difference. So Anyway, with that being said, so these are um, borders. You can use them right up along here, or you can put them really anywhere you want. Um, so you get these pieces. You get this big, huge piece, which is the bag. You cut that out twice. Then you get the side parts. You cut that out twice. <clears throat> and then depending if you want to put this on front and back, you cut this out once or twice. Whatever your preference is, if you, 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 know, you plan on using that. But even the bunnies, like you can do this on any time of the year you can do this for like a little girl or a little boy or you know for somebody who's expecting a child um the heart any day every day doesn't matter even the stars any day every day doesn't matter so i just thought that this was really brilliantly thought out but guys i have to tell you i have a huge dilemma <laughs> i can usually pick out a favorite or like almost favorite in in my designs and stuff but I, I I made three bags I had to force myself to stop because I'd have no paper left and I'd have no room to put all these bags nor would I have anything or anywhere to use them because I mean it, these are so fast so quick so easy to make like OMG. So I wanted to try, I mean, we've got Christmas coming, right? Like I wanted to try to, to keep it in the spirit of Christmas. Oh my gosh, guys. Let me just show you what I create. Oh, and also if you decide to get this die, which I think you really should jump on it, um, because I don't want it to sell out on you guys and you don't get it because this is definitely one of those dies that shouldn't be a must have because I am so in love with it. It should be a must have because first of all, the size of this is incredible. Don't think you're going to find a bag this size for the cost of this a anywhere. Honestly, like I, it's just a great deal. So anyway, if you want to save yourself 10%, don't forget to use my code Jenny 10. Um, 
yeah so anywho um let me just show you guys oh my gosh oh my gosh and as always I will leave all links in the description bar below don't forget that Anna does have a Facebook group um, you know it's it's still very new so we would love and I'm sure she would love to have you guys go over so make sure you, you guys go and follow the links and um, check out Anna's channel check out Anna's shop um, and the Facebook groups and all that stuff so okay with that being said I'm just gonna grab because I honestly don't know what to show you first so oh here we go okay so this is the first bag I made oh my goodness could you die <laughs> I mean really it's like oh my gosh I don't even know but look at how big I mean how big big this is okay so here is a full bottle of eyeglass cleaner right boom I mean gets lost in there I mean tall but gets lost in there you could like if you did bath and body works you could do like a whole little set and have this as you know the the, the gift bag oh my gosh how adorable would that be right you could put anything and everything in this bag like this bag is just I think the perfect size if you did makeup if you have teenagers or you know hell even women grown-ass women like myself you want to do like a little makeup kit with makeup oh my gosh so cute and hello you want to fill this up with a bunch of craft goodies hello <laughs> I mean hello it's just I, I just love this and of course Oh, this paper. And I, I, so what I did was, this is that Hobby Lobby trim. <clears throat> so I cut it out, put it around, and then I glued, um, not the whole thing, but like on the, the balls, I put a little bit of um, hot glue. Like this one came up. Oops. I have to do, or did I even, no, I didn't even put glue there. So I have to put some glue there. <laughs> but I just kind of stuck them down enough so that it would stay and wouldn't go all over the place. And then I wasn't sure about the handle, so I just did this, and I think it's perfect. So basically all I did was hot glued it, you know, into there, and then just held it until it, it went dry. And yeah, so that is my handle. And again, I mean bing bang boom you're done you cut two two fold them together now I will suggest if you have um if you have this die Anna has a I think she has a video on her channel um on to how to put this together because you don't it doesn't line up like you don't put it you know what I'm saying? Like, see how there's like a, a line here? Um, so you don't put it like back to back, if that makes any sense. Let me know. If you want a tutorial, I will definitely come on and show you because it's it's really, it's easy. It just sounds confusing. Um, but you're not going to push them all the way together. You know what I'm saying? You're going to leave a little bit. And so if you can't find um, Anna's video, let me know. I will come on and do a very quick tutorial but you're better off if you can find me in this <laughs> just slang anywho so this is the this is actually the last bag I did but the first bag um I'm showing you and I just love this this is so festive and so pretty it could be for Christmas it could be for a winter birthday it could be just a great happy meal like omg okay so we have that one right oh wait <laughs> and I tried to do something different with each of the handles. Would you look at this? Oh, I just, I died. I died. I died and I went to heaven. <laughs> I died and went to bag heaven. Because if you know me, you know bags and boxes are my, uh, my crafting comfort. <laughs> so I did. Okay. So as you saw on the first one, I tried to do exactly the same on each side. So no matter where you put your bag to stand, you could do that. Now I will be honest and tell you, um, the white is driving me a little crazy because it's so white. 
but you know, it's the inside of the paper. There's really not much I could do about it. But thinking about it, what I need to do, I only have 110 pound cardstock in black. I don't have black that's lighter uh, in pound. So like I don't have 65 pound cardstock in black. I don't have even thinner than that. Like I only have the 110 pound. So um, this paper itself, it's not super thick. It's not super thin. I, I want to say maybe 65, maybe a little lighter. I'm not really sure, but it's definitely not heavier than a 65 pound cardstock. I think what I should ha have done and will do in the future, um, if I can go and buy black regular paper, um, is probably glue black to the back of this so that when you put the bag together, you don't see the stark white and it's the black. I think that would make it look a lot better. I mean, listen, I love this. I think it's fine, fantastic, but I also have OCD and this is going to drive me crazy. Like it, it started, I was fine until I started doing this video and realized, wow, that's really white. And now this is going to make me insane. But anyway, um, also I screwed up the bottom here because again, this edge doesn't go to that edge and vice versa. So I thought I needed to, um, which I should have known because I knew this ahead of time. I just, I honestly, I forgot. Um, so I put tape on here, but I don't want to, you know, take the tape off because, or this off because then it'll be sticky and then that would be bad. So I just left it. And what I might do is just take a black marker and draw <laughs> a big black line. I don't know. Um, but I would love to give this away or gift it away or, you know, whatever. But let me know what you guys think. I love that. I have one more, so hold on. But I love the way these came out. And I love that. I don't know what I was thinking. Honestly, this is just a, a die that I have in my stash. So, obviously, I did it to do the belt for, like, you know, Santa. Um, oh, you should see Anna's. Oh, Anna's did. A, Anna did such an incredible job. Um, her bag with, uh, she's, you gotta go over and see it. She, I actually, it might even be in the shop. I'm not sure. Um, but she did like the fur and it's red and she's got the belt and I mean, oh my gosh, so stinking cute. But anyway, so I was playing around with this to see how I could do the, um, what do you call these straps? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, and then I just folded it and I went, Oh, that's cute. And then I, it was on one and I'm like, oh, I don't want it just on one. So I did two of them. So I think, I think it looks cute. It's different. It's also a little bit more masculine, which I like because then you can give this to any male or boy. Um, I mean, you can give it to a girl too. I would love this bag, but I'm just saying it can also be for a uh, male. So there you go. So those are these two. And then last but not least, this was actually the very first one I made. Guys, I have hoarded this paper for probably about four or five years. Honest to God, I, I only got two pieces of this paper in a paper pack. Um, and I had just, I mean, you guys know I've made a lot of stuff. But I don't know why I saw this die and I knew immediately that I needed to use the paper I have been hoarding. <laughs> so I did. And guys, oh my God, look at this. Look at this. Oh, could you die? So this is the very first one that I made. Again, with the white, I mean, it bothers me, but not so much. Like I... I just love the way this came out. I love the gold. I love the pink. Um, so what I did here was I did pink brads, uh, or not brads, um, eyelets, so that if I want to do a dangle or something, which we all know I probably will, not that this would match, but you know maybe so even something like this. Actually, that would be really cool. You can make a couple of these ornaments type things and then hook them onto here, and that could also be the gift that you give somebody um, with whatever you put, you know, whatever else you put in the bag. Cause now that I'm looking at this, that would be so stinking cute. Um, I think Rita made these. I'm not sure. Rita, if you are even watching this video, can you let me know or whoever made this? Could you let me know? I'm so sorry. I've had these for so long. Uh, another thing I'm hoarding because I love them to death. And I mean, I have them out even when it's like not Christmas. I just absolutely love these. I am going to try to recreate it, but uh, you know, 
I don't know when. <laughs> but something like that would look super cute. So anyway, so I used the eyelet. That was the whole point of that. Um, so I did it in between the handle um, and the side of the bag, like so. And then also, um, again, I, with the way, I love also that the handle is like the front of the thing. I tried to do that with this one, but I, I don't know. I, I I just liked it on with the black a lot better, if, if I'm being honest. And like I said, I wanted to do it a little bit differently because I had already done this. I did this one, so I wanted to do it just different. And I just think that, that came out adorable. So anyway, this I absolutely love. I love the paper. I love the colors. I, I do. I just love it all. I did, I did try to do the sides pink. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I have it back here too. Yeah, I do. Um, but I thought it was just too much. It was, um, I don't know. I, I like the black better. And I was also considering doing the pink, the sides pink and then doing the pink belt. Um, but again, I, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I, I just think the black looks a lot better. And then again, if I, if I had any more of this paper, which I don't, Oh, if any of you have this, I will buy it. Let me know. I will buy. I don't care if it's a half a sheet. I will buy it. <laughs> it was in a 12 by 12 pad. Um, or if you have anything that's similar to it, I just love this. Anywho. Um, so yeah, so, um, I would probably do the black again. I just have to get, this is pretty thick though. This, this cardstock, it's definitely 65 pounds, if not more to be honest. It's definitely not 110, but it's, it's pretty thick. Um, but anyway, I would, um, I would probably do the black, like glue the black to the back of this, um, and do it that way. Cause that white is going to drive me to drink, but hopefully whoever receives it will really like it. I don't know if I can give this one away. I just, I just don't know. I'm going to have to hold off and see. Um, but I would love to know if you have a favorite, which one is it? Um, or which one do you, you know, do you like the most? Uh, what? It doesn't have to be the word favorite, but I don't know. I, j I really do just love them all. I think they are so fantastic. This is a phenomenal die. So seriously, before it sells out, I strongly urge you, if you can, to go and purchase this die because this is definitely a must have. It is definitely something that you can use all year through. It is, it's a showstopper. Honest to God, it is a showstopper. You could do any holiday, all holidays. You can make up a holiday. <laughs> like it's just, uh, these are just perfect. I think. Um, and I love the way that they came out. I love using that belt. Um, but I also love it like this. And then, you know, you could do flowers or whatever you want. You don't have to do any of it. Um, but the bag size is just incredible. Actually, you know what? Let's, um, we'll, we'll measure it. So from, oh, <laughs> wrong way. So from side to side, it is five and nine sixteenths length. And then, or width, I should say, not length. And then from the tippy, actually, well, yeah, from the point to the bottom, it is six and three eighths of an inch. I mean, that's a big bag. And guys, I'm telling you, you have, even if like you had a stuff stuff in there, you could, but even without stuffing it, like that's a decent size, like, I'm blown away. It just, to me, I think it, it just, it's everything. I think the, it, like I said, it, it's definitely a must have. I don't even know how else to say it. I love the way that they came out. I can't wait to see how the rest of her design team does the, um, like decorates it and puts it together. And even the people who have purchased it, I can't wait to see these. So if you have a channel, 
please let me know down below. Um, I try to check on my own, but sometimes, guys, I'm, I am so busy that, you know, I put it in my head, yeah, I have to go check, and then I forget, and I and I, I just don't do it. So it would help me out greatly if you could just give me the heads up that you have a channel. <laughs> and if you don't have a channel, please feel free to email me a picture or send me a picture on Facebook or in Instagram. I would love to see your creations. I truly mean that. Whether it's Anna's dyes, anybody's dyes, your own dye, like it, I would love to see your work. Um, you know, as crafters, that's what we do. We we jump back and forth from each other. So, um, yeah, let me know. Anyway, okay, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have this dye. If you don't have it, are you considering getting it? If you do get it, make sure to use my code. Um, and if not my code, somebody's code to save yourself some money. But, um, yeah, let me know. I hope to see you in my next video, guys. Thank you so very much. I've got one more dye to show you guys, and I will be showing you that. That's going to be just a little bit longer because it's the apron um, mini album die and oh my gosh this thing is inc actually it's right here um, this die is just her release this time was outrageous um, so I'm working on that one and I really want to go purchase the um, pocket letter die so once I do that and then have it I will come on and show you that as well um, but yeah, so <clears throat> let me know. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I love you, and I really hope to see you in my next video. If you like this, please give a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe. I'm really trying to get my name out there, and I would greatly appreciate any and all help I could get. <laughs> so thank you so very much, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Take care. Don't forget to go check out the links down below. Bye.